Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial from Learn Microtic Configuration series. Today we will learn Microtic Bonding Configuration. Bonding will allow us to aggregate several Ethernet-like interfaces into a single virtual link so that we get higher data rate and failover facility. There are several different modes. The default mode is Balance RR. But I will use 802.380 mode here. I use this mode a lot. It requires minimal configuration. 802.380 mode is an IEEE standard, also called LSCP, Link Aggregation Control Protocol. As it is an open standard, we use this mode to configure link aggregation in manageable switch as well. Using this mode, the interfaces will be aggregated in a group where each slave must operate at same speed and duplex mode. From this picture, you can assume that we will use this configuration only to this micro router interface. LACP balances outgoing traffic across the active ports based on hash protocol header information and accepts incoming traffic from any active port. There is a method to check if one of the link in the aggregated group is down. Link monitoring options help us with this. There are basically two types of link monitoring available in Microtik router. One is MII and another is ARP monitoring. But our mode 802.380 works only with MII, Media Independent Interface Link Monitoring. Okay, let's go straight to the configuration. So we'll connect with inbox in our router. We'll go to the interface and to the bonding tab. Click plus sign to add. It's a very straightforward configuration. We'll put the slaves here the interface that are performing in the bonding interface. So in our scenario, we will use Ether1 and Ether2. Let's see the picture again. This is actually Ether2 and 3. So 2 and 3. Okay, our mode is 802.380, link monitoring MII, transmit hash policy layer 2 and 3, minimum links, one. apply, you can give any name if you want, okay. Our bonding interface already created. Now, in the second router, we'll do the same. Bonding tab, click plus sign to add the bonding interface. I have to see our okay, the same interface. Mode will be it is a 2.3 AD. Okay, link monitoring MII, transmit hash policy layer 2 and layer 3, minimum links 1, click apply and OK. Now we will give IP address in 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.2 slash 30. Interface will born interface apply and OK. Same way we will IP address to our first router 10.0.0.1 slash 30. Interface will bonding apply and OK. Now we will test Yeah, 
we can ping. A bonding interface is created and our traffic is going to other end device. After we set up our bonding interface configuration, we can check how traffic is evenly distributed to the bonding slave interface. If we push traffic from one router to second router, you'll see how traffic is evenly distributed. The command is interface monitor or interface is one is with two, second one is with three, and bounding. Three center. When you push traffic, you will see TX bits per second and RX bits per second. So this will evenly balanced here. From this command, you can see if your traffic is evenly distributed to the bonding slave interface. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.